your own and and with your mics muted to let yourself know that today it is good to be you and that every day you're going to be you and no one else no one else no one else all right all right how is everybody today how how's everybody everybody good i'm good over here i really 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 Wait. That's good, that's good. Today, we're gonna get into the interpretations of soul energy numbers one, two, and three. And just like we, we, we talked about it uh, uh, on Tuesday, your soul energy is different than your soul's journey. Your soul's journey is the path that plays out in your life. Your soul's energy is the vehicle that is on the road. Your soul's journey is the road. Your soul's energy is the vehicle, is your mode of transportation. It is how you get along on your soul's journey. And those of us that are learned in numerology know that your soul's journey number can be different than your soul's energy number, can be different than your soul's urges number, can be different than any other numbers on your chart. This number, the soul energy comes from the sum of the month, day, and year that each of us were born. And as we did cover in the uh, understanding of our soul energy number, we did find out just how important and just how much we get just from our day of birth, our month, day, and year of birth. Our whole, like I said, our whole life is in our name and our birth date. We can get a pretty accurate reading on a person and their life just from their first, middle, and maiden, last name, and they are month, day, and year of birth. And if all of us knew this at age five, six, seven, and eight years old, I believe that not only would each one of us be better off and well into we would have all been living our purpose and doing it successfully for years. I do believe that everybody else would be and that this world by default would be a much better place. Much, much better place. Um, so today, Master of Self Numerology, October 7th, 2021, our, our four o'clock class. We start with the interpretations of souls, energy numbers one, two, and three. Now, do I have anyone on the call today that has a, a soul's energy number one, two, or a three? Other than myself, my soul energy number is a three. February 9th, 1963 comes back to a 12-3. So anybody have a one, two, or a three souls energy? and or birth force number. Nope. All right, all right. I'm gonna run on with this uh, uh, lesson for today. Soul's energy, number one. You are the undisputed champion for justice. You are the leader type. You see the, you already see the, correlation between what the keywords for the number one is and it already is it's 
So the keywords and, and the one is a one is a one is a one, no matter where it lands in your chart, a number is a number is a number, no matter where it lands in your chart. And the basic uh, characteristics of the numbers will, if, if, if it's a, just a straight number one, first step, and you have a number one soul's energy, they're going to have, have the similar uh, uh, characteristics and, and it's going to be similar things, but there are some unique things in your soul's energy or in your birth force because you are equipped with those things of that number. So already, we should already be letting our mind stretch a little bit and start to make the connections that hey all right i may not i may not be an eight but i may have eight energy somewhere so i have that eight energy you, you understand what i mean we make those connections we we the only eight <laughs> the only eight energy i have in my government name mark edward pile is the eight of the 28 in the middle name of Edward. It's the only eight I have in my, uh, in my chart. And I don't think I have a six in there either. I don't have a six or eight in my chart at all, other than the eight that is in uh, the 28. And then I have a six somewhere else, a six reality or a somewhere else. Uh, yet I do have uh, six and eight energy that permeates uh, uh, through my chart and permeates through my life. So just as in uh, 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 astrology, when we are much more than our sun sign and we have all the houses, all the planets and all the signs in our charts, in numerology, you are much more than just your first step or your soul's journey or your middle name or your essence or your birth date or your planes of expression. It is all a conglomerate. So soul's journey, soul's energy, number one, you're the undisputed champion for justice. You are the leader type. You are strongly individualized and demand the right to think and act according to your own ideas and convictions. You, you have a keen perception, good concentration, ability to get ahead, ability to direct and lead others and to establish your own business if you desire. Souls, energy, number one people are business people, entrepreneurs work for themselves, start something up, go ahead and do it. You have the capabilities in you to do this. Not only can you establish your own business, but you can lead others if you desire. You have, ex you have executive ability, willpower, courage, and are quite capable of overcoming any obstacle to your success when you make good use of your creative ideas. Y'all remember when I was talking about number one, and number one come in, boom, taking off. There's nothing behind a number one. Ain't nothing chasing the number one. The void, out of the void comes the number one. So the number one is coming to lead, is breaking ground. It's innovative. It's inventive. You are or should be selective in friendships and have quite a sense of humor. Ones are, are, are some of the uh, funniest folks on the planet because they are, they are the original originals. Nothing can be any more original than one. There's only one, one. They are the original. They are the first. That's why when people, when you meet people and do their charts and see that they have a lot of one energy. Yeah. Yeah. 
They, they, they come off. It may seem like they're arrogant, but they're not. They're first. And because there's no, nothing chasing them, there, there's nothing that is influencing the behavior of the one. Nothing influences the behavior of the one. You love the nice things in life and are sensitive to your environment and to what others think of you. Ones are very sensitive because they are first. They're concerned about how they look. They're concerned about how you think of them and what you, what you know about them. Ones are the ones that will definitely do everything they can to keep their secrets and their horse shit shenanigans under wraps so that you don't find out. Life should never be dull for you if you, if you make the best use of your initiative, executive ability, and original ideas. For you have strong powers of attraction, which will lead you into interesting work and experiences. Dominance, egotism, bossiness, impatience with opinions of others, overconfidence in yourself, being a know-it-all and refusing to take advice from others or being told what to do by others and selfishness are all traits that you should avoid at all costs. I know it's, it's tough being a one because you are first and you are original and you are inventive, yet some of that can get to your head. You can't be pushy, you can't be egotistic, you can't be bossy. And you do have impatience because you are the one that has no limits. The one has no limit. The one can go on and go on and go on and go on and go on. So being overconfident, uh, uh, being impatient with the opinions of others, being bossy and egotistical and dominant, and being a know-it-all, being that, that cynical, sarcastic, asshole know-it-all, are traits you should avoid at all costs. These traits will only derail your well-laid plans and keep you from reaching your absolute highest. So energy number one, people keep that side of you totally under control. What, what's something that, that, that my generation used to say? Check yourself before you wreck yourself. That was spoken for a one soul's energy number one personality. Probably a one personality in, in just in general. Anybody got any comment? Anybody know somebody with a soul's energy number one or a strong one energy in their chart. You, you've seen this in them. So energy number one, folks, you have unlimited opportunity through active mental interests and endeavors. You can, be, you can be successful through developing new projects for these, bring out your initiative, originality, and executive ability. Any type of new, original type of stuff Soul's energy, number one, a number one person is for that. Across any lines, uh, uh, one is the number that has no limitations and they, they can, according to other things in their charts and in their astrology and their intellectual makeup and all of that, they can get into any field, you know, once they dedicate themselves to it, they get into it and they'll rise to the top of it. They have uh, incredible initiative and, and they ooze originality and executive ability. They, they just do because they're first. So whoever is first normally is the boss. That's normally how it is. So energy number one, folks, you are born to fearlessly pursue what is needed and wanted by humanity. Soul's energy and, and just number ones in general are really, really uh, responsible for most of the innovations in the world that we enjoy these days. You have the amazing energy and enthusiasm of a child approaching each day as something new and exciting. You grow and become aware of your inner wisdom, bringing courage in approaching anything new. You are the eternal youth with matching energy. Man, 
that that is a beautiful beautiful thing right there and that will give us some more insights into making connections in how we uh, do people assessments and when you're doing your people watching maybe you know you go out people watching and you see this uh uh older uh lady or male uh, and they seem to just be have pep in their step and and you could tell that they're advancing in years, but they're not slowing down and not uh, uh, letting anything get in their way and, and they're not uh, letting obstacles prevent them from living their life. Guaranteed, they probably got strong one energy or soul journey number one or soul energy number one. Soul energy number one, you're born with eternal youth if if for nothing else for soul journey number one i would want that i would want that eternal youth with the matching energy it's one thing to be eternally young but you don't have the energy or the body to to manifest that eternal youth but to have eternal youth and then matching energy with it Oh, now that, ladies and gentlemen, is truly, truly a gift from the cosmos. So energy number one, your enthusiasm for life makes you fearless. You would be a natural military or a sports hero. Not just somebody in the military or somebody playing a game. Heroes doing galleon and valiant shit soul energy number one or an ultimate and most successful business entrepreneur that's soul energy number one any comments any any questions about soul energy number one nope nope all right all right we'll move to Soul's energy number two. Soul's energy number two, people, you are the pursuers of balance. Again, your soul's energy is what drives you around all day, every day, all life, every life. <laughs> all day, every day, all day, every day, all life, every life. Yeah. So twos, you know, you know what the key is for the two compromise and sensitivity and balance and partnership and equality. So yes, being that you are driven by your soul's energy, you are soul's energy. Number two, people, you are the pursuers of balance, the pursuers of spirituality, the pursuers of compromise, the pursuers of partnerships, all things too. Soul's energy number two, folks, are the pursuers of every one of those keywords that we broke down previously about uh, the number two. Soul's energy, people, people born with that soul's energy number two, they pursue each one of those relentlessly. You are the diplomatic type. You are naturally sensitive cooperative and considerate of others naturally you're born sensitive born cooperative born considerate of, of others nobody had to teach you how to cooperate souls energy number two people nobody have to teach you manners that's what considerate of others is you know my generation it was called manners I don't know what they calling it now. I don't think they call it anything because it's a lack of it going on, but that's for another show. <laughs> but however, soul energy number two, folks, you're naturally sensitive, naturally cooperative, naturally considerate of others, naturally want to compromise, naturally peacemakers, natural. You're equipped with it. You're born with that. There is a gentle side to your character and it is this that makes you more persuasive than forceful i don't think there is a two on the planet that is forceful at anything 
I think they can get pushed in corners and 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 then they can be uh, 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 motivated to protect themselves. But even in that, even in a two, when even when a two is fighting, they're concerned about hurting the other person. More so than the fight itself. There's a gentle side to your character and it is this that makes you more persuasive than forceful. That's why twos are natural uh, peacemakers because they are more persuasive and they're gentle. You are a good mixer, able to influence others. Another gift. Another gift. How, how many folks losing their damn minds and going nuts attempting to become Instagram influencers or Twitter influencers or social media influencers. So energy number two and two folks, you born with it. Yes, Victorious. Oh, no, I was just going to answer your question. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. But yeah, it's too many, actually. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You know, uh, um, obviously those that do make it well they have strong two energy somewhere in their charts because i'm a i'm a firm believer in you just don't make it just on good looks charm and personality it's in y'all heard this saying it's in the cards correct yeah it's in the cards it's in the numbers it's in the stars astrology card sciences, numerology. It's in the stars. Did the stars align for you? That's astrology. If the numbers don't add up, that's numerology. And is, is it in your cards or you got to play your hand that you was dealt? I know all of us have heard that. You got to play the hand you were dealt. That's the card sciences. See how they, they've made, they've made axioms and, 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 and catchphrases out of serious practices. They made them just casual. They made them a casual conversation. And that's what you do when you don't want the masses to do what you do to get what you get. You, you, you make what you do, you make it seem like it's comical, yet you still do it. And that's for another show as well. You know, the powers that be, they know this numerology just like I do. The, the elite, they got guys like me that work for them. And they pay them really, really, really well just to do this shit for them and their businesses and their families and, and uh, uh, get auspicious dates to launch shit and to have babies and weddings and ceremonies and all of that. They will hire somebody like me and pay me handsomely. You know how uh, attorneys get a retainer? Yeah, I could get hired for a retainer. Yeah. Able to influence others and win them over to your way of thinking, especially when you realize the power there is in your quiet way. So energy number two, folks, you give your power away when you start screaming and hollering and meeting force with force. The best thing for soul energy number two or a two period, when somebody is hollering, the louder they get, the lower your voice should go. You know, that really works. I did that once. Uh, it was a heated uh, uh, conversation between me and someone else. And the person was staying heated. And the more heated he got, the lower I lowered my voice. And you do you know what? In about a minute, we were both talking just like this. That really, really does work. I was kind of shocked that it did work because we were both hot, boy. We were both mad. And this was somebody that I didn't want to lose a friendship over, over something silly that we was arguing about. Your success, soul journey, soul energy number two. Your success depends very much on your ability to help others get what they want instead of being self-centered and after your own interests. This is due to the spiritual quality in your makeup and you should not fail to value this, even in business. 
Souls Energy number two, two people in general, listen to this, even in business, for it is your spiritual and peacemaking qualities more than your dominance that really and absolutely wins for you. Number two, y'all should just be cool. Y'all should be cool as the other side of the pillow. Y'all know how cool that is. Y'all, that's how cool a soul's energy and number two people should just be in their life because that's what wins. And it really wins for you. Soul's energy, number two people, your sympathetic feeling and consideration of others, your ability to analyze, to be accurate and detailed are fine business assets. I've had so many twos work for me in those accounting offices. If they wasn't a, a first, middle, last name two or a, a, a journey uh, energy uh, urge two, they had strong two energy somewhere else or strong twos in their names accounting, uh, uh, um, uh, customer service, uh, data entry, input, output. Yeah. To uh, uh, programming. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. The ability, so energy number two, your ability to associate with others and your ability to bring people together for a common cause are very, very, very attractive parts of your nature. That's what folks are attracted to. If you are two and you have a lot of two in, or you have a lot of two energy in your chart, they are attracted to your ability to just glide and smooth. You got a smooth way about you and the way that you can just bring shit together for a common cause. Twos can walk in to, to uh, a, a, a group of uh, two groups of, with divergent uh, opinions. And before the two leaves, everybody will be singing Kumbaya. Sensitiveness could become a fault. If you get overly sensitive or if you just let them just continue to just dump, 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 because it'll make you negative, fearful, timid, and fretful instead of strong and courageous. Because the two, no matter what they do, one way or the other, is always going to be in a quiet way. Twos don't like the fanfare. They're not loud and boisterous like the three, which is coming up next, my number. They're not out in front. Twos are behind the scenes. Twos is like, yeah, no, no, no. The one, we've seen you, your hard charging ass. And the three, yeah, we don't even want to deal with you three. So we're going to stay here off in, the, off in the cut. So energy number two, people, uncertainty and indecision for fear of being wrong are areas you must always be mindful of for you are naturally faithful and always wanting to do the right thing. Sometimes, I, I, like I said, I, I've known some, two folks who are at strong two energy and their their need and want to do the right thing sometimes you just be like oh brother just stop it already two is so afraid to do anything that is quote unquote wrong that they tear themselves up in a knot even if they have to contemplate doing something wrong you got a lot of two energy and you mess around and Take a pencil from work, you won't even sleep the next night, that night, until you take that damn pencil back to work. Be fretting over it. Be thinking you're getting ready to get fired over a pencil. They don't even know you even got it. And you will walk in talking about, Ooh, I took this pencil home last night. I want somebody to see me. Bring it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, number two. We know. <laughs> we know. Sometimes it makes you sick. That they just they just dead Dudley do right just want to just do gooders just uh, never they never stray from doing well doing good. I love the twos. <laughs> I do I do it's because I'm a three and I'm looking from a, from another position. But I, I I yearn 
for the calmness and the peacemaking ability and the sensitiveness and the 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 willingness to always come to the table of compromise of the two i yearn for that i yearn for that the three as a three i ain't even concerned with none of that none of that so energy number two people your accuracy make you dislike mistakes and you often hesitate to do anything for fear you may not do as well as you would like to. Fear of doing your best paralyzes the two. The two is the number that if they have a slight concern that they're not gonna do their best, they just will stop, they won't do nothing, they'll just freeze. Uh, the one will keep going, the one will be like, Shh. and the three don't care about a mistake. <laughs> three is like pew, gone on to the next five come for the experience so the mistake is actually five don't even know it's a mistake because it's about the experience and the adventure for the five seven is off in their own little world they ain't even caring about it they got something else in their head that yeah they they're working out perfection they're they are attempting to perfect something and the nine is the humanitarian so the mind the nine just will envelop all the mistakes and just comfort you you know that two will get uh will get frozen out of fear of not doing as well as they would like to so you should overcome this soul energy number two and two people because always you always do your best. Two people always do their best. Two people, they, they can't do anything else. They always do their best. If you always do your very best, you can and gradually you will perfect your talents and make a success in the world. Somebody just let me know that Tyler Perry uh, is a two. And I can see a lot of all of this uh, in him. And I've, I've looked at his chart as well. And I can see a lot of that in his astrological chart as well. Um, um, soul energy, uh, number two, you could be surprisingly blunt in speech and too exacting in your demands. And that's normally when you are anxious or are in your low level fear, uh, um, expressing a great deal of nervous energy. You have to two, if you are in low level vibration, you are de definitely dealing with, you are a walking anxiety attack. You just walking ball of anxiety, just, yeah. And if somebody touched you wrong, you might come unravel. Just, ah. Or, or you might act like a spring and just bounce all over the place. You can, soul's energy number two, be a bit extreme, strong in your likes and dislikes, and there is a touch, a touch of the reformer in your character. If you will cultivate the people who stand for the best in life, share, what you have with others, then make use of your talent for doing things well, you will climb the ladder and stay on top. So, so energy number two, folks, always looking for that place that, that they fit and they're looking for that partner. They're looking for that, that other something. Their balance is inside of them already. Just keep doing things well and get around people who stand for the best in life. Opportunities come. Soul journey number two. Opportunities come through fine machinery, delicate instruments. Success may come through dancing, music, painting, literature, the violin, harp, uh, and other finer instruments, uh, the ministry, religious activities, medicine, politics, and all lines of administration are open to you, as well as banking, as a treasurer, teller, paymaster, or an accountant. 
uh, soul journey, soul energy number two, folks, you can do well with any dealings in finance or money, radio, electrical work, technical and mechanical pursuits, stat, statistics, art collection, travel, and mass transit. You're a born diplomat who mirrors others to the point that they see themselves in you. You bring the beautiful awareness of the other, making the two of you a new and powerful one. You see the completed circle of life through relating. Number two, soul energy, and number two, uh, folks with strong twos in their chart, their life is one relationship after another, after another, after another, in conjunction with a whole bunch. They got, they, they are... They are in relationships with everybody. And if you really, really boil down to it, if you really think about it, all of us are in relationships with a lot of, a lot of people. We, we talk relationships and we talk about, oh, you know, the intimate relationship, uh, you know, that's just me and her or, or me and him. Yeah, you're in a relationship with that, with your checker at the supermarket, especially one that you see all the time. You're in a relationship with your mechanic that work on your car. You're in a relationship with your postman. You're in a relationship with a bunch of people. You're in a relationship with your job or with your vocation or with however, however you earn your money. You're in a relationship with that. Every one of us is. So it's not just the two, it's us, but the two more so than us. See, we compartmentalize it and we just, we, we say, oh, I've worked there. I'm not in relationship with nothing. I just worked there. The two is in relationship with everything. Everything becomes a piece of them and a piece of their family. That's why when, when you fire the two, they take it, yeah, the two take it hard. Two is crying and, and the, the, you know, each one of us, we might need one box to pack up when we get fired. The two going to need a truck because it's like home in their desk. And if they got an office, oh, yeah, it's going to take a couple of days to clear all that shit out. A couple of days. You bring the beautiful awareness of the other, making the two of you a new and powerful one. You see the completed circle through relating. Recognizing that partnerships require full communication, you naturally know that the complete expression of love doesn't require a 50-50 effort. It requires 100% commitment on each person's part. That's what the two come to show everybody. That this 50-50 shit, I've never even bought into that. Oh, it's 50-50. No, it's 100-100. I don't want to, I don't want half of nothing of nobody. And I don't think that nobody wants half of me. It's a hundred, a hundred. And two's come to make that known. Uh, relationship counseling, sales, home hacking, and diplomacy, natural talents for you. Uh, soul's energy number two. So anything dealing with compromise and diplomacy and sensitivity and and anything of that nature is great for soul journey number two souls energy number two people any comments any any questions about uh souls energy number two no 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 wait yes. i'm not um, i don't have a soul energy number two but i do have a um i think it's my soul my heart's desire and my birthday is a two and a lot of this really well, applies to me well if you're your birthday being a two yeah soul's uh journey uh soul's energy number two yeah that resonates strongly with you because you you the day the actual day that you were born had nothing but two energy right. in it right so yeah, you are you are are cloaked and bathed in the two energy just like i'm bathed in the nine energy because i'm born on the nine right yeah i'm bathed in the nine energy bathed in it it's interesting too because my mom is um an 11 two mm -hmm. and um a lot of this applies to her as well absolutely 
Yeah, and I wanted to ask one other thing. I think I might have asked this when we were talking before. Twos, I find, um, are more likely to be empaths. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. Because they are ultra sensitive and it takes sensitivity to be able to do the empathic work, you, the twos come equipped with that, the natural empaths, natural. Right. Whether they know it or not, natural impacts. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for that, Victorious. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Souls energy number three. And we've already covered three, so we know what, is, what it must be like to have this type of energy. And this is what drives you every day. This is, this is I'm gonna give y'all insight into me every day. This, this is how I wake up, this is how I go through the day, this is how I look at the day, all, each and every day, regardless if it's raining, if it's sunny, if I'm sick, if I'm well, it doesn't matter. This is the vehicle that I'm in on my soul journey every day. Soul's energy number three, you are the master of the creative expression. <clears throat> you are the creative type, possessing a good imagination, great power of inspiration, and deep emotional feeling. I don't know about all that deep emotional feeling. I think my seven have a little bit something to say about all that deep emotional feeling, but no, I, I, I'm being facetious. Yeah, there, there is a lot of deep emotional feeling uh, uh, that I purposefully uh, uh, default to the seven on just because when I was a, a younger man, when I was a little kid, I walk around crying. I cry at the end of The Wizard of Oz. I still cry at the end of the Karate Kid when Daniel is on that broke leg and he beat up the bully. And I cry, even if I watch it today, I still cry at the end of it. Still cry. I still, there, there are things about uh, that happened to me when I was a kid, the things I've witnessed and I've experienced when I was a kid and growing up, that if I allow myself to sit down and really get quiet and think about them, they're just Niagara fall. They're just waterworks will come. They'll just come. And, and I am still very, very deeply emotional. I'm just more emotional about this shit right here, what I'm talking about than that other old horse shit I used to be. Just as, as emotional as I was about, you know, getting on in my life, in my chosen vocation, I'm just as emotional about what I'm doing right now. The emotion that I put into them jobs, I'm putting it into this right now. The inspiration that I got at those jobs and the imagination that I used that served me well, I'm doing that into this right now. Some of y'all may not realize this, but everything that I'm going over in the Mastered Self numerology, I've written it myself. I'm not copying shit from nobody else's books. This is my own original stuff. It came out of this good imagination and the power of inspiration. And I'm emotional. I get emotional about this because this is my baby. It's my shit right here. No matter how practical I think I am, or no matter how practical you think you are, soul's energy number three people, you will find much of your success dependent upon the vision and creative imagination you add to your endeavors. Yeah, see, I got four energy, especially the 22-4 on pile. That's a master number, master of economics and enterprise, and the four is stability and all of that. But my, my, my soul energy is that three. So no matter how practical I get, I have to allow the vision, the cosmic, the, the, the psychic vision, and the creative imagination to all of my endeavors, or I will not be successful. I'll just be run of the mill, just uh, 
if I don't use my vision, I don't use my creative imagination, I will get bored and I will get fed up and I'll quit. Can't just put, I can't be punching the same button every day. No. And, and not have no creative liberty to do something different. I, I, I just, I couldn't, couldn't, I, I walk away. You have the gift of words as a natural asset and this ability, the gift of gab has huge financial possibilities. All I gotta do is keep talking. Told y'all before my grandmother, she used to pop me in the mouth, tell me I talk too much. Now I don't think I'm talking enough. The gift of gab has huge financial possibilities. I knew a long time ago that I could be a motivational speaker or one of them pitch men or, or you know, a ad, uh, uh, you know, like the sham wow guy. I could do some shit like the sham wow guy or the craft uh, cheese, you know, it's incredible or we're great. Yeah, I could do all type of shit like that. All of that. Soul energy number three, your ability to talk is key, is the key that opens all the doors for you. Not some, not a few, not. Uh, your ability to talk, soul's energy number three, people, is the key that opens all the doors for you, socially and professionally i'm a firm believer in the only stupid question is the one you don't ask and i live by this motto a closed mouth will never get fed i always have that and and yeah i've been opportunist in that fashion so energy number three person is the opportunist. You can talk too much and at the wrong time when you allow your emotions to get the best of you and I have been guilty of that recently. <laughs> It's my soul energy number three that be ready to go off on Karen and Chad in the parking lot or at the store because about this mask or, or any other of this uh, global uh, uh, medical uh, issue that is going on. I'll be looking for somebody to be looking at me, want to say something. I'll be looking for you. I'll make eye contact with you. And as soon as you get over here to start saying, I, I'm already getting emotional about it. You're like, yeah, you coming. Come on. Because <laughs> I talk too much. And this is going to be one of the times when I talk too much. This is one of the wrong times. So keep guard on your speech and make it a vocation, not a scattering force. So now, now, <clears throat> instead of being so hungry to want to go to the store. I saw somebody in the store today, a Karen, she didn't have her mask on and I was turning in the corner and then I said, nope, I'm not even going to say nothing. So instead of getting emotional and probably having a scattering force conversation with her in the store, I can come on Zoom and on my radio station and talk about her dumb ass. <laughs> yeah. Because it's my vocation now to talk about dumbass shit like that. It's my vocation to point out hypocrisy, to break down the status quo. That's my job. My job is to challenge each one of us to get to know ourselves a little bit better each and every day. I come to stir the pot. I come to stir up that stank part of your soul. I come to push the envelope as far as it can go. And sometimes it'll go over the cliff. Oh, well, better have a parachute. I'm not concerned with what's over the cliff. So energy number three, you're capable of reaching. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I went too fast. Your natural tendency to be obliging 
and to help those who are weak and in need, I will come to the aid. If the bully is picking on the little kid, I'm coming to help the little kid. If you feeble and can't get across the street or you need help, perfect example, older lady was at um, uh, Winco at a grocery store that I go shop at here in Las Vegas. She turned, she was leaving, she put her stuff in the car and she was leaving and she hit the, the curb too close and and her fender her side wall fender on her door fell off and then the people who were behind her were lined up and they're honking the horn at her and getting all mad and cussing and you could tell she was flustered I pulled right up and looked at them people and gave them my look like you know STFU or get out and help her. And I said, ma'am, it's okay. Well, oh, I'm going to flush it, man. It's all right. Take your time. They'll either go around or they'll wait till we get this done. Yeah, I, I'm, I will come to your aid if you weak, less fortunate, uh, or in need. Everywhere I have moved, I have never looked for the homeless encampment. It's always found me. Everywhere that I've moved. Overseas too, not just here in America, overseas. So your natural tendency to be obliging, to help those who are weak and in need and a cheerful and upbeat spirit are huge financial assets, huge, huge. I once got a extra bonus just for being positive in the office. Everybody else was complaining and they was, they was acting like the, the gift card that they got wasn't enough. And when they gave me mine, I said, thank you very much. I'm very appreciative. And I was the only one that said, thank you. And the boss gave me another one. Just because I was cheerful and upbeat. I, whatever, anybody give me anything. First of all, I'm not expecting shit from nobody. So if anybody gives me anything, I'm grateful as hell. And it's something that I didn't have before you gave it to me. So yes, I'm cheerful and upbeat about sit like that. Soul energy number three, people, you are capable of reaching great heights of attainment, even perform acts of valor when you live up to that inner feeling of power, which comes to you at times. You like to do things on a large scale and you have intuition. You are definitely a hunch player. I, I played by my gut. I, I, I have trusted my boys. You know, I call intuition, if you're a male, I call them your boys. If you're a female, I call them your girls. I've been trusting my boys since I was 16, and they have never led me wrong. When I ended up in some horse shit is because they told me not to, and I said I was going to anyway. So, so energy number three, people, you're definitely a hunch player, which always helps you. However, there may be times when you come, when you become too optimistic. I've, I've, I've been told that before, and there may be times when you will be wasting your time and money and failing to succeed when you should. Done that too. Stayed too long, stayed somewhere too long. Didn't trust my intuition when it told me, hey, man, you might want to break camp now. Didn't trust it. Yeah. So journey number three, people, there's a secret aside to you as you are very sensitive and can withdraw into a shell of silence when you are criticized and hurt. That used to be true for me whenever i get criticized or whenever i would get hurt withdraw i get sensitive take it personal withdraw to a shell of silence and just brood but ever since i adopted the idgafa draw line exclamation point way of life i don't give a fuck what nobody think or say about me and I don't take it personal. Whatever anybody thinks or says about me is just that. It's their thought, their words, their opinion. It's not my reality. And I don't take it as such. 
so so energy number three people you can be very critical of others yeah yeah and i got to double because that's the seven too i gotta really seven is very critical and sharp the, the three is just critical from time to time and tell them of their mistakes or unconsciously become selfish or self-centered. Now, yeah, I, I am I am the one I told you guys since uh December 31st, 2015, that no one gets the pass. You doing dumb shit? And I see it. Yeah, I'm gonna let you know. Especially if you're doing some dumb shit to me. You're getting foul with me, getting disrespectful with me, getting uh, flip it with me, getting racist with me, getting aggressive with me, you get no pass. Not anymore. Mm -mm. And the energy you give me is the energy you get back. So if you want some smoke, you're going to get smoke. If you want a fade, you're going to get a fade. If you want peace, you get peace. If you want love, you get love. If you want compassion, you get compassion. I'm a firm believer of an equal exchange of energy. You don't meet hate with love. <laughs> That's old paradigm. That's old paradigm. Because hate is going to kill love. Hate kills love. Yeah, you meet hate with that equal energy right there. Or you're going to get run over. And that's from the three. Become selfish or self-censored, causing problems in your love affairs. Yeah, whenever I get and whenever I have gotten selfish, self-centered, and I was in a relationship, caused a problem. Because like I said, I got three energy and I got seven energy and them is two energies that yeah, when it's, even if it's not time to bounce, I'm out, deuces, deuces. Three is on to the next, seven is I won't be by myself. So that's the pool. I'm leaving, I'm leaving to the next, but I'm gonna be by myself. <laughs> but you deal with selfishness and self-centeredness by knowing thyself. I truly know myself. I truly know Mark Edward Powell. I truly know Pythagoras B. Metatron, all the way down to the stank parts of the soul. I know the good, the bad, the ugly, and I pretty much can predict the unexpected out of me. Through learning numerology, each one of y'all on this call will be able to do the exact same thing. At other times, you can be easygoing, yeah, happy-go-lucky, seeming to lack in will or to be too fond of ease and luxury. Well, I wish I could get a chance to get too fond of ease and luxury. <laughs> I wish that that was my problem, that I'm too fond of the easy life and the luxury life. I've had to work for everything. And a lot of the shit I worked for earlier in life, I've never had a chance to enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy all this shit this time. So energy number three, people, you have the ability to supply yourself with the very best life has to offer when you use your creative power successfully and you can change your circumstances Anytime you put your imagination to work. If I am ever in an environment, situation, association, endeavor that I do not like or do not wish to be in anymore, I have the immediate power to change it. All I have to do is think and allow my imagination and my thoughts to go to work. So energy number three, people, you are manifestors. You got a link to manifestation. And whenever you want to change anything about what's going on in and about your reality, think. And then go to work.
Soul energy number three, people, you can be a very pleasing companion. Uh, 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 uh. I, I, yeah, admired by the opposite sex, and you are capable of enjoying life. Well, I don't know about the pleasing companion and about being admired by opposite sex. However, I do know that I know how to enjoy life. Each and every day, regardless of my status and bank account. In fact, I've had some of the greatest experiences on this planet when I was dead ass broke and didn't have a, a prospect of any money coming in. Three, money don't make the three. <laughs> money, money, the, the three is, that's the, that's one of, that's down on the list for the three. Money. Yeah, they're like, oh my gosh, really I got to deal with money? That's what we're going to come and create. <clears throat> so energy number three people and, and three people in general, this is for three people in general too. You have splendid powers of attraction. And if you are not getting the absolute best out of life, it is your own damn fault. For you are unusually endowed with talent. Soul energy three, soul journey three. Soul urges three, three uh, uh, first step, three middle name, three last name, three on your essence, and threes in your name. If you're not getting the absolute best out of life, it's your own damn fault, for you are unusually endowed with talent. Your talent is functioning in accord with nature, meaning not only our gorgeous planet. However, the universal perfection of the rhythms of the stars and space. Three, you hang out in the cosmos. You, have, you, you are familiar with the cosmos. You have, you have a, a ease of things, all things cosmic. And your talent, your 3D talent works in accordance to the cosmos and the universe and nature, almost as if it works outside of you. And sometimes I feel like that, being real honest and real vulnerable with you guys. Sometimes I do feel like the shit I'm doing is not even me. So energy number three, people, you grow by fulfilling the expression of this magical realm. So me doing this, me on the sevens with Pythons being down to try me, writing the numerology and doing all that I do, I am growing because I am fulfilling the expression of the cosmic uh, synchronicity of my talent. And yes, soul energy number three, people, you appear to everybody else that come into contact with you. You appear to have a life full of synchronicity. So energy number three, people, three people in general, folks look at us from the outside and like, damn, you just always look like you got your shit together, but you just always look... Ugh. I've had people tell me, man, look like you know where you're going. Most of the time, I do. See me, uh, you appear to have a life full of synchronicity, seemingly magical timing. Oh, I, I wish I could, I wish I had time to tell you guys all of the instances in my life that were right place, right time. Both good and bad, right place, right time. Got out of somewhere right before 
cops came and raided the place, took everybody to jail. Maybe five minutes before. Happened on a couple of occasions. Left one place and a and a truck ran through the garage where we were sitting playing dominoes. <laughs> I left, went to the store. Two, two of the boys that we was playing with got hurt. Magical, seemingly magical sense of timing. However, it is just your attunement to all life. I I I do tune in to life at its most basic level. I do. And and I can tune in to the beat, to the heartbeat of folks. And yes, threes are very, very, very fortunate. Um, I had uh, uh, my, yes, yes, uh, Sharon, you have your hand up? Yes. Um, I didn't mean to cut you off, but oh. um, I'm going to ask her a question. Like, my brother is strangely lucky. I have a story, like, it's, it's really short. But he got fired. His boss fired him. Homeboy had the audacity to go back up there, talk to his boss, and get his job back. Like, he yeah. is, like, you're saying, like, he's always in the right place at the yep. right time. Like, yep. just lucky for no reason. Yep. And I was... Jermaine, you're the only person I know that would get fired and then get your job back the next day. Only yep. you. Yep. That can to. <laughs> yep. Yep. Threes are, threes are so fortunate. Uh, I, like I was saying, the, uh, uh, one of my mentors uh, uh, and one of the one of the persons that that has taught me some of the things that I know. The first time he did my numerology chart. He called his elders because they had never seen in the three major positions, and they call it destiny, heart, birth force. I got a three destiny, three heart, three birth force. He's like, he never even seen that shit before ever in anybody. So, so they were telling me, they were like, man, your life has just been one great opportunity after another great opportunity after another. And that you have been fortunate just all across the board. And yeah, yeah, I have. And there's been calamity. I mean, I ain't had, you know, this great silver spoon lifestyle, but yeah, yeah, I've had more than my share of right place, right time, more than my share of, I, I, look, I done found dope on the ground. I done found money on the ground. I, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, right place, right time. Absolutely. You are a natural expression of the beauty of the flow of life. I had a guy tell me once, your nickname ought to be Easy Money. Easy come, easy go. Because you just flow, brother. He said, every time I see you, you just flow. Those that know me know I don't drive too fast. I'm not in a hurry to get nowhere. If you need me somewhere at a certain time, let me know and I'll leave well in enough time so I can cruise. I don't like being in a hurry. I don't. I like the flow. A career as an artist, writer, life guide, creative writer, screenwriter, or another career requiring a pure communication stream is a natural for you. Guess what, folks? This is a pure communication stream. I'm communicating. I'm, 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 I'm communicating the creative writing that I have done that is life guiding. And this is my art. So I've just unwrapped all of that. A career as an artist, life guide, creative writer, or another career requiring a pure communication stream. Now I'm communicating it is a natural for me, for you. So energy. Number three, people. Any comments? Any any questions about soul energy? Number three, folks, or any or anybody else that we've touched on, right here. Let me see what I got here. 
Why, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Victorious. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, uh, all right. Before I end, I, I got to apologize to Miss Shonda. Um, uh, this week has been a really, really tough week. I, I've had to deal with with uh, some intermittent internet issues and I wasn't uh, available uh, uh, at the house uh, early in the week. I did get your, your text and I promise you, I know I've said this to you before and you can, you can hold it to me this time. I promise you within 24 hours, everything that, that uh, is covered in that text will be to you. I promise you. I apologize to you, Sean. It's just been really, really, really crazy around here. Uh, today, uh, uh, our cars got blocked in on top of the driveway because they uh, surprised us and they're repaving our road. So it, we had to scramble early this morning and move cars and uh, internet down. I had to do a new router. Uh, yeah, it was just our roommate needed to go to the emergency room twice. Yeah. So I promise I'll get everything that you covered in the text from the other day, Shonda, I will get it to you within 24 hours. And I thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. I really, really, I truly do. I appreciate you for your patience. Anybody got anything they'd like to, uh, to say or share or add to this before we end? I just speak up. I actually just want to say thank you for doing these courses. Um, if we have more classes like this, especially growing up, this would be a better world. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you. You are most welcome. Your indeed. voice is very appreciated. You are most welcome indeed. And, and I think everybody that shows up, I think all of y'all that that are getting something out of this. And, and it's always been been my endeavor that no matter what it is that I am communicating, I want to duplicate in others what the cosmos has done in me. And I want to make sure that I pay it forward and that I help at least one person get to know themselves a little bit better. That's why we do what we do. That's why we keep coming back to these classes and like i said i got enough shit to teach us three days a week it'll be seven and a half years before i have to come back and repeat something so we got a long way to go and as long as y'all want to continue to come around i'll continue to be here and and some of y'all already know this about me if nobody shows up i'll still be here tuesday thursday and saturday at four o'clock so Anybody else got anything they'd like to add before we shuffle off? All right. Well, thank you guys. This has been On the Sevens with Pyphrius B. Metatron, where we come to awaken, ascend, and expand. We do go through the 88 steps into your mastered self. And if you keep On the Sevens with Pyphrius B. Metatron as part of your spiritual journey, I guarantee you somewhere along the way, your mastered self awaits you. I love each and every one of you. I appreciate each and every one of you. I am not saying goodbye forever. I am just saying goodbye for now. Goodbye. See you guys later. Bye. Thank you again. Um, You're very welcome.